Hello and welcome to a new episode here on my channel with a first look at Drake Hollow. My name is Kasmo and today we are checking out this little neat game you see here in the background. Uh, as I said, it's called Drake Hollow and it did go into early access like a few days ago. So it's a management fighting enemies collecting building game. Like it looks kind of interesting, um, but I don't really know what to expect. So... Let's get into the game, shall we? And we have this little crow waiting for us. Um, maybe it's a bit spooky. That would fit October. Um, I always feel that crows are a little bit spooky. Don't know why. Even though they are very, very smart animals. Even that might be the reason. They're too smart. <laughs> they are probably smarter than me. So eh. I like that the compass is, by the way, moving when the crow is moving its head. It's pretty cool. What is with the eyes, though? That doesn't look normal but how about we are starting a new game and have a look at this uh, i don't know if mouse and keyboard is better than my controller we have to see um sandbox is not in the game yet okay well the game is still early access so let's see what we got Ooh, intro well like the the yard simple 24 hours dinner oh my oh my there's a very, very peaceful music, if you ask me. Ugh. Well, that doesn't look too good. Yep, that looks like a person who has a lot of problems. Oh, hello there! Wow, that is some lush hair. Damn girl. Um, so I assume these are the faces. Not bad. Um, actually, I think we'll go with her. I like her style. That looks pretty cool. Um, body. Oh, damn. She's ripped. She is ripped. Oh, you can choose the skin color. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So we have a lot of, like, skin colors here. This would be normally my skin color. Yeah, pretty much. That's my, that's my real-life skin color. I'm just white you can put me in front of a white wall and it would disappear and believe me it's not a good thing <laughs> but let's go with a let's go with a little bit of a darker tan here uh, that looks cool i like that with the hair uh what kind of hair do we have damn can we turn this Oh, we rotated with the mouse wheel. It's kind of interesting. Oh, the shortcut. Nice. <laughs> Looks interesting. Um, whew, no hair whatsoever. That's also not bad. Ah, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Tough decision. I'm weirdly enough when it comes to those games. I'm always somebody who has a really, really tough time to find the hairstyle. Like everything else for me is always like super simple. And it's like, yeah, I'm taking those eyes, those nose. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. But when it comes to the hair, I'm like, oh, get the side. Let's use this one. That looks kind of cool. Uh, eye color. Up, oh, I think green. Oh man, you can go crazy with the eyes. Look at that. Oh, you can. Oh, that's some red demon eyes. Nice. Um, lady, could you look this way? Thanks. Thanks. I do appreciate that. Hey, having some purple pink eyes. It's. I love that. When they're giving you like the normal eye colors, but also going a little bit crazy. That's always cool. And I think it's a fantasy game, so makes sense. Let's go with. Let's go with the green. Sure. Hair color. Um, can you go crazy here? Oh, yeah, you can. Nice. I like that. Oh, some pink. Yeah, you can go totally crazy here. I love that. That's always great in games. And I'm horrible at it. Because I can never decide. Wait. I can decide between black and more black? What? That's weird. Hmm. 
Hmm. I actually like the hair color. Brow color. Um, should be fitting to the hair color. I mean, maybe we have colorized our hair. Who knows? Now nah, this is fine. Clothing. Oh gosh. No hat. Okay. Shirt. I like this one, personally. Let's go with this one. Pants. Let's get some pants which are not already broken. And some shoes. Ooh, I actually like those boots. We can we can go with that. And a backpack. Um, yeah, definitely going with this one. I don't know, those backpacks always remind me of my school days. And I'm like, eh, nah, nah. We don't need that, man. We don't need that. All right. Let's go. Uh, yes. Let's see what we got here. That is kind of spooky. Also, there's a lot of fog. But it gets some slight Silent Hill vibes. Bird? What the? Yo, that green eyes, man. I can already see how I would just, like, take my camera out or my phone and start recording instead of going behind and be like, oh my god, let's do a live stream about this. Psst, hey, kid. Dude, I think the crow did speak to us. Oh boy. I mean, we are in the middle of the forest, so I assume we have eaten some mushrooms of some sort. Don't eat the mushrooms. That's a very bad idea. And never works out well. I've got a different path for you. Oh, what the? Alrighty. If we go this way, kid. Wait. Oh, I cannot go through here. Smart. Okay, that crow already outplayed us. <sighs> I tell you, crows are so much smarter than I am. I like the music. That's some nice music right there. Okay, can we leave the path? Yes, we can. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Speaking of the mushrooms I mentioned earlier, don't touch the mushrooms. Wise crow. Hey, kid. Look, I've been sent to find someone. And I think you're it. Okay, the store I'm sitting on, gonna need you to walk through it. It's not strictly speaking a normal spooky door in the woods, really more of a portal. Some folks on the other side could really use your help. I can force you to step through, you gotta do that on your own, but I appreciate you deciding fast. My brain's getting foggier the longer I'm on the side. I'm not gonna be able to stick around for much longer. I gotta warn you, this could be a one-way trip. No telling when you might get back. It's gonna be dangerous. So, you up for an adventure? Step on in. Um, excuse me, sir. My mom has always told me not to follow, like, smart crows. Man, she can jump. <laughs> I'm just happy when my feet are not touching the ground. And she's just like, yeah, let me, let me do a Spider-Man jump here. All right, well, I guess we're going through the door. If this is a trick, I'm coming back for your feathers. Just saying. All right, show me what you got. Mm, that's not good. Yep, we got tricked. Hello, are you there? Out of energy. Wow, that was like, that was like a day. Wow. I'm actually kind of surprised that the phone survived the day without uh, battery loading. That's not realistic. Okay, we are still in the forest 
Yeah. No. Well, at least it's night. Blight shroom. Oh, God. Well, we are eating all the mushrooms. All of them. Yes. Give me my mushroom empire. That's not good. That's really not good. I mean, she already looks a little bit like... Oh, wow, man. So many mushrooms. I don't even know what we need the mushrooms for. <laughs> I love the popping sound. Boop. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, what the hell is that? Are those tentacles? No. Those are not tentacles. Sadness. Those are vines. Thorny vines. And what happened to the city? <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm so like engrossed into those like vines and I'm just like oh yeah by the way what happened to the church that's completely normal like I see that every day here whoa where are we ah you made it much better that was fucking up something awful no offense but I hate crossing over if I'm being honest I wasn't sure you'd cross I've been starting to lose hope Seems like it's on a short supply everywhere these days. Welcome to the Hollow. It's been better days, I'm afraid. That's kind of why you were here. Follow me. I clarify. Yeah, you better do. But... Did you see what the crow did there? The crow clarifies in a foggy place. Huh? Huh? I saw it. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. Okay, we have seen the super jump she can do. Can we go up here? I love secrets. Oh! <gasps> this totally looks like a place we could go. I brought you here at the request of an old friend. Someone from your side of the hatch from way back. Friend. Probably best if you just heard from her directly. She left me with this note. A note from Sarah Howe. Find someone new. Dear Wise Crow, I know how to help you and the drakes. I need you to find a warrior, strong will and body, sensitive to animals. Look for them when the hatch is thin. Bring them to finish what I am too afraid to accomplish. They must work with the drakes to build their power and seek out my effects hidden from the Terminator. The Terminator? Find them. It's the only way to save the hollow. Yours, Sarah Howe. That doesn't sound good. So here we are. You've got that youthful vigor we need. The hatch was thin, and as evidenced by this here conversation, you got the gift of the animal whispering. Oh. It's sometimes weird. I'm hitting E, and it doesn't do next. I, I have to click it first, and then I can hit E. It's a bit weird. Maybe it's a bug. Come on, I've got something I'd like to try. And some folks think you should meet. That's the note? No, what is that? Oh yeah, yeah, this is a note. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad that I can sprint here. Hmm. That's not where a boat should be. I'm not an expert. Well, that doesn't seem right. Well, like... Everything doesn't seem right here. Yeah, what happened to this place? It's kind of spooky. Oh, that doesn't look too great. Okay. So, for science, I will now do something we call gravity jump. And there is no fall damage. There is. I hate fall damage. Me and gravity, <laughs> we, are, we are not going along much. Uh, now that we had a little nature hike, it's time to get to work. 
I've got a little theory about you. Want to test it out. See if I really did choose the right person for the job. I think there's more to you than you realize. Best see for yourself. The power of crystals over there? Get up close. Attune your mind on waking them. See what happens. Are we... Are we playing Final Fantasy XIV here? Like, attuning yourself to a crystal, awakening the crystal, the mother crystal and stuff? No, is it just me? Let's see. Vololo. Alrighty. Yeah, there's some Final Fantasy stuff. Oh! What the? Ah. Ah. Hi! <laughs> what are you? What are you? Wait, wait. Did they, did they just give me a stick? A whooply stick. <laughs> we are saved. <laughs> we are saved. We have a whooply stick. Um. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Let's stick it to him. Can we dodge? No. Can we block? No. We can only attack. Grunt. Mm, getting some loot. Also, this stick is amazing. Like, it's the power of the stick. Maybe I'm a wizard. Maybe this is a wizard stick. Hi. You've met your esteemed allies, the Drakes, and vanquished a pack of pesky feral. Not too bad, kid. The Drakes are a companionable lot. Kind souls. Unfortunately, they have had a rough go. Ain't what they used to be. Invaders, those terminers. <laughs> I always read Terminator. I don't know why. The note mentioned. Made a real mess of things. So, they're a little skittish around newcomers with a penchant for brawling. You're gonna need to do some legwork to earn the trust. The drakes are plenty hungry and thirsty. Hibernating so long. Unfortunately, land's no good. Everything that comes from the ground is blighted. Inedible. You're gonna need something to cleanse things from them to eat. Look like the crafty sort, though. Remember that it's human business with the crystals. That's right, there's your gift. With a little focus, you can left the drakes. You can let the drakes know that you need build and they'll hop to it. Gather up some lumber and put the cleansing cauldron. Check back with me once it's built and I'll tell you how to use it. Here, take a couple glowstone shards to get you started. You need them to build a cult. Also, take this healing salve. It's the only one I got. But if you're gonna be scrapping with those grunts, you're gonna need it. You'll learn how to make more soon enough if you use that one up. Hey! We have some healing, we have some glowstone shards, and now we need some. Bane berries. Okay. Yeah, they don't look very. We. Save. I could make so many jokes about this now. But let's be real here. That would be shitty. Can I... Oh, I can destroy this. Upholstery scrap. Ooh. So, chop a tree. You say that. But... How do I do that? Probably not with a stick. Okay, some cattail. Nice, nice, nice. Oh! No, I actually do it with a stick. Hmm. Well, how does that feel, trees? Getting beaten up by your own. <laughs> And there it proves it, the stick is mightier than the tree. I think. Oh. No. 
<laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> the stick is really stronger than the tree. <laughs> All right, let's swap into build mode. Uh, QD select the structure. Where's when you can select from the structure and continue to be able to build furniture, entertainment. I love me some entertainment. All right. Um, where do we want to put this? That is the question here. Mm. Oh, shift to rotate. I think we are putting that here right now. I hope we can actually move this later on. I really hope so. Aww. He's so cute. That's impressive. Can I can I have one for my home building? God, I need that in the Sims or something. That would be nice. Okay, cool, cool. Let's talk to the crow again. Because I have no clue what we are doing next. Hi! Nice work, kid. I knew you had it in you. Yeah, see, I'm hitting A right now and it doesn't recognize it. I have to I have to click here first. Weird. Now, for the most important part, using the cauldron. You're going to need to investigate this island a bit for a couple things. Juicy boxes. <laughs> and bait berries. Get at least four of each. Walk up to the cauldron and toss them in. Soon, the berries and juice will be cleansed, and the drakes can show down. Knowing they've got a meal waiting, show them you're not looking to do them harm. That sounds reasonable. But what is if I try to poison the meal? No, that's too evil. That's a bit too evil, I admit. Wait. Is this another crow? Trade? What are you going to trade? Hello and welcome, <coughs> Magpie. Hello and welcome to the world of the wonder that is Magpie Emporium. If you got shiny objects, I'm exactly the sort of cultured aficionado that you should be speaking with. I can tell from a quick look at you that you are also a person of refined taste. We should get along famously, I imagine. Please, browse around, inspect the wares. I'm always looking to make a deal and expand my vast collection of rare and wonderful shiny objects. Shiny. Chicken every day. Your stock arrives every morning. All right then. Well then, let's show me what you got. Oh. So wait, how much shiny do I have? Zero. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Blunderbuzz. I keep that in mind. Well, it's time to get the juice box. Wait. The juice boxes from. Is it nearby? Let me see if we can. Uh... Maybe over here? Hmm. They don't really have any pointers. Do we have a map or something? Let me, let me see. Wow! Holy moly, that is a lot of map. I didn't expect that. Impressive. <gasps> Juice box? Oh, it's a trap! Get out of here. Yeah, you are not locked. I'm not locked in with you. You are locked in with me. Ooh, we can destroy this <laughs> with this stick. This is the most mightiest steak I have ever seen. <laughs> uh, amazing. Oh! Bam! 
I love the sounds. Juice box? No. I wonder how much I can carry, by the way. That should be interesting. Oh! A pizza battle. <laughs> and I think it's stronger than my actual weapon right now. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Give me that pizza pal. Mm -hmm. Pizza. Fun fact. I will have a pizza today. I know nobody cares, but just mentioning it. So, let's see if we can find the juice box. Are the juice boxes on the radar? No, it doesn't seem like it. Man, that is kind of unfortunate. Let me at least pizza paddle somebody. Oh, there's our juice box. So, the juice boxes are coming from a... Uh, from just items lying around. And I smashed the window. Good job, Mo. Really good job on you. You're so helpful. Um, didn't we get something new? A table leg. And I must have a spanner. I must have a spanner. Oh, this is how we can swap weapons. Okay. So, it slowly gets darker. I wonder what happens at night. If anything happens, really. Alright, let's go to the cauldron. And let's finish the meal. I'm also getting hungry. So this is the perfect time to do that. The cleansing cauldron transform... Okay. Wait. It transforms them into crystals? No. It just cleanses them. Oh, that's cool. Da. Miper found woodcutter 30% crit environment. Wait, what? We can crit the environment? Aww. Not poor found lucky 20% extra item drop. Hell yeah! All of that. Uh, these are the supplies, I assume. So, this is water, happiness, or well, how many. How many of the drakes we have? And this is the food. Oh. There's the explanation I get. <laughs> it's entertainment. Okay. You're making more than you need. You're making less than you need. You're making exactly what you need. Okay, okay, okay. We are not doing too badly. That isn't too bad. All right. Well. Let's see what's next up for us and the crow. Next time. Yeah, we will end the episode right here. And I will see you at the second episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Because unfortunately you have to do that now here on YouTube. You know the drill. And thank you again so much for watching. See you next time.